X, Y, and Z start a web-based venture together. X invest 2.5, Y invest 3.5, and Z invest 4 lakhs. X 2.5, Y 3.5, Z 4 lakhs. Our ratio is 5 is to 7 is to 8. In the first year, the venture makes a profit of 2 lakhs. A part of the profit is shared between Y and Z in the ratio 2 is to 3. The remaining is shared between X, Y and Z in the ratio of their initial investments. So one part is divided between X into Y is to, X is to Y is to Z in the ratio 5 is to 7 is to 8. One part Y is to Z in the ratio 2 is to 3. Or I'm going to say X is to Y is to Z in the ratio 0 is to 2 is to 3. The amount Z receives is 4 times the amount X receives. This makes life very interesting. X receives 5. 5 is to 7 is to 8. Let's say X receives 5. Then Z should receive 20. 8 here. The remaining 12 should be sitting here. This is 12. This should be 8. Or they get 5 is to 7 is to 8. And 0 is to 8 is to 12. Why am I writing it as 8 and 12? Not just 8 is to 12. So they are receiving 5X, 7X, 8X. 0X, 8X, 12X. How much does Y receive? So at an overall level, adding both put together, X receives 5 times X. Y receives 15X. Z receives 20X. Out of a total of 40X. What is the share of Y? 15 by 40 gets 15 by 40 times 2 lakhs 2 lakhs by 40 is 5000 15 into 5000 75000 done just writing this 2 is to 3 as 8 and 12 makes life so much simpler